my friends. Well, we're getting down there. In this video today, you're gonna see me out shopping and I have a, a good rabbit hole story. Moosey thought it was a hysterical story. He told me I had to tell you about what happened to me coming out of the dollar store with a bunch of packages in my arms, having spent over a hundred dollars and I finished up all my uh, painting of the girls' little uh, plaques for the wall. Did a lot of good things today, and I'm feeling good. So I think you'll enjoy this video. I did buy a lipstick in the dollar store, a red one. And boy, does this look red, <laughs> doesn't it? Can you see this? It's uh, LA Colors. It was only $1.25 and it's a duo stick and I'm going to open it here. By the way, I'm parked in the parking lot. I'm not driving, ladies, so you don't have to worry. So I'm gonna open it up and see what it's like and you and I can check it out at the same time. Okay, here we go. It's called a lip duo, whatever that means. Oh, look at that. At the dollar store, LA Colors, it has a lipstick on one end and the other end is this bright red, <laughs> Uh, gel, I guess. My nails are still okay, by the way. So let's try the lipstick. Whoa, now that is red. That might even be better than my other one. Let's see how it goes. I'm gonna put this down so I can see. Huh, it's pointy, it's almost sharp. Oh, it's nice and creamy. Is it red? <laughs> kind of hard to tell out here in the sun. Let me put my visor down. I think it is very red. Oh, wow. I think I found a color that will rival my Rimmel. <laughs> Not bad. It is red. Wow, now I don't know what the duo thing is on the other end, so let me put this away. Let's see what this is. Oh, and this is the gel. This is red. Almost make my lips look big too. Well, I'm set for the day now. I can continue. I get home and finish the video too, and I have to finish Lizzie's sign. I have to finish the rest of the bows. Moosey tied the Boy Scout knots and made the loop. <laughs> Did you see the video of today where he said, go away, you're bugging me, when I asked him to make sure he did the loop? You don't want to second guess, Moose. <laughs> so, but he's he was kidding. So my list, let's see. I got the bags. Oh, name tags, darn it. Okay, I'm on my way. See you at home. Well, I just arrived home. I showed Moosey my purchase for Dane. He's thrilled. I have just glued, he found some super glue and I've just finished gluing Megan's letters on. Hers is finished and I'll show you that in a minute. But right now I am painting in a darker purple. We have decided we're going to the um, lighted neighborhood tonight. So um, it's three o'clock now and Moosey and I are gonna leave about five. He says it opens at six. We're gonna head out. I have my camera all loaded and we're gonna do the lights for you tonight. So whether it's in tomorrow's or not, or maybe the next night, I think I'm gonna add some black to this and make it a darker purple. So let me do that now. Well, I finished Lizzie's and I've decided I'm going to put our pictures one of those little round pictures on the bottom of this little sign. Oh, that's it. And I'm gonna talk to you a little bit out in the living room before we leave. It's almost four o'clock, so we have an hour before we leave for the light. So here's Megan's and her little shamrock. <laughs> Lucy and I are thrilled with these. Okay, we're ready to chat now. I have finished the job in the kitchen of Megan and Lizzie's signs and they look wonderful. 
the uh, Moosey super glue that he found worked great. So I uh, have a little time now before we leave for uh, filming the lighted neighborhood for you. Now that won't be in today's video. That probably be in the next one because by the time we get home and everything, I won't have a chance to edit it. So it'll be in the next one. But I think we have enough footage of getting everything all together and my shopping trip and some funny rabbit hole stories just to entertain you. Now you can't tell that this is a pretty sweater. This is, now I have to give you a clue too about Patrick. He's not flying high today. He's flying low and he's in a dark, dark place. So that's my clue. That's it. It's gonna be a hard one. So here's my pretty sweater. This is the one that I recently got at Walmart. And this is the one that I wore with Colleen in our video. So it's a pretty one, isn't it? So anyway, <laughs> I'm feeling good because we're getting down there. And I want to tell you a funny story. I did talk to you when I was out in the car. Well, the one I already told you about losing my lipstick this morning before I went out, my Rimmel Red that I've been wearing for three or four weeks, lost it under the bathroom cabinet. And I reached under, it's one of those cabinets that has a little, this much room. Couldn't get it, couldn't find it. So when I came home, I just, a little while ago, I thought I'm gonna give it one last tap because I don't think that new one that I bought, the LA Colors one that I bought in um, the Dollar Street really was like this. Now, guess what? I found it and guess what I used? I used the old coal shovel from the fireplace. I reached in under the, the bathroom cabinet, pulled it out and I now have my Rimmel Red back again. So that's one teeny rabbit story. But the other one, this is funny. And Moosey, as I was telling Moosey what happened, he said, oh, you've got to tell your friends that rabbit hole story. So this is what I will obviously close the video with because we do have to get rolling. <laughs> and so I told you I was in the Dollar Tree store. Well, I did get all my packages. I, I will... I'll share some of, of that to you in a minute. I got some nice little ones. They were three for a dollar, big enough for all the ornaments. So every little ornament will go in one of those packages. And I guess we have 28 of them. And I got bigger packages for some of the things that we got for our children and some other things, some of my treasures that I have decided to give to uh, some daughter-in-laws and uh, just some some people that I think might like some of the treasures from the purge day that managed to be saved. The kids obviously realized that these things were worthwhile. So I have the tissue paper and everything. The only thing I forgot that Moosey asked me was the tags, but we might have some. So, okay, so I checked out, had a lot of bags, had a lot of tissue paper, um, found some things for some of the guys for their barbecuing. And in fact, I should show you some of that stuff. Big mitts for the barbecues outside and towels that match. And um, I, I got my souffle pans, the disposable ones. And you know what happens when you're in a dollar store. Well, the bill came to um, $103, I think. It didn't match my $190 from a month or two ago when Moosey lost the card and and he was talking to the bank guys and the, the guy says, hey, I think there's a scam cost on here. Somebody charged $190 at the Dollar Street. That's not even possible at the dollar store. Moose said, oh yeah, that was my wife. Well, anyway, they had a good laugh over that. So, okay, so they won't let you out of the store with uh, those carts that have the big long pole because if you try it, and I have forgotten sometimes and gone out and bumped the thing on the top of the doorway and didn't realize it. So I had four really stuffed giant bags and I said to the woman, I can't take that card out, right? You don't have one without a pole. She said, no, I'm sorry. So she said, you can pull your car around. Well, my car, this was so crowded at 11 o'clock this morning that I had to park way, way, way far away 
I did snap a parking space, but it was far away and I had quite a walk to go. So I, I looked at all these packages. I thought, you know, I can do it. So I tried to take them by the hand. I'm gonna show you some of these packages. And I managed to get three in one hand up against my body, one in the other, got my car keys out first so that I didn't have to rummage for them. And off I went in the parking lot. Now, here's one bag. This is a pretty heavy one. <laughs> Don't look, Mose. <laughs> <laughs> Close your eyes. It's not bunny for you. Within a bunny hole within a bunny hole. I know. But but some of these things are good. Now, uh, I got some pizza um, pie things. You know, Micah has a pizza oven. He built his own oven, and they send pizzas down to us every time they do pizzas. And, um, oh, beautiful mitts and and dish mat these cute things too what do these say these are barbecue mitts everything a dollar and i have another one with two big aluminum pans for my souffles um coming out of the store oh i even have a doormat in here and and this is the main part of the story so kleenex we go through kleenex like crazy around here so so I got four of these things all lugged up and I got three in this hand and three there. And I'm walking, I decided I could do this. So out I go. I even had, oh, this for Micah's oven in here. So I'm, I'm going out and I'm walking through the parking lot and there's cars backing out and coming, people walking. And I almost get, get to my, well, not really. There were still about six cars left before I thought I saw my car, but there's so many white vans around. So at one point with all my packages like this and I'm, I'm dying, you know, that feeling of saying, oh, I know I only have to take 30 more steps and I'll be there. And one of these Kleenex boxes falls out of a package onto the, the parking lot floor. And there's cars backing out and whatever. And I thought to myself, if I lean down and pick up this box of Kleenex, that means everything else will fall out of these three things and I'll be in a mess. I won't know what to do. So I start kicking. I have my red clogs on that are pretty good kickers. And, and I start kicking, thinking I can make it carrying all these packages. And at the same time, like a football, I'm kicking this Kleenex box toward me. I probably could have left it. It only cost me a dollar, but I thought, no, I'll kick it. So I did this, I don't know, 10 feet or so. And, and I see people starting to stare at me. Nobody ran, by the way, to help me except this one young girl. She ran toward me. Oh, ma'am, can I help you? I said, what a love you are. She said, oh, let me take some of those packages. I said, no, if you could just pick up the Kleenex box, I think I could make it. She said, where is your car? I said, well, it's that white van. She said, well, there's a lot of white vans down there. I wasn't sure which one it was, but I said, I think it's, I think it's five cars down. So she grabbed one of my my things. It was another older woman who was standing there. Obviously, she couldn't help me, but she was in hysterics laughing at this situation of me kicking the, the Kleenex box down the, the, the street. Anyway, she uh, did manage to have the keys in my hand because she had taken one or two of the packages and she opened my trunk, of course, which was filled with soda cans and pillows and everything from the patio anyway, but she she put these in for me. And I said, thank you so much. I said, you you did your good deed for today. And she said, you know, my mother always taught me to help people in need. Isn't that sweet? What a good mom she was. So, you know what? I better close with that. And Moosey's sh sh shaking his head right now. Um, but there's some goodies in here. And this is the dollar store, actually $1.25. So we are going to enjoy the ride tonight along with you. And I know that you will enjoy this. Now, this won't be to today. It'll be tomorrow. 
And I have a couple more things that we'll be sharing with you. Moosey has pretty much figured out, um, speaking of Kleenexes, <laughs> I don't have a cold. It's just the aging nodules. Remember I told you about that? What happens to the um, membranes in your nose when you get old? I don't oh. have any nodules. <laughs> yes, you do. We yeah. all do. It's just a part of the... I have uh, nodules. How many? <laughs> well, I don't know that yet. I haven't studied that yet. Um, we, f we figured out our I'm schedule nostril. all the way up to... You're what? I'm nostril. Nostril. No, it's nodules. In your nostrils. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> um, so we figured we've worked backward. Sunday is Christmas. Um, Saturday is our Christmas Eve day brunch. So I have to be all ready to leave the house at nine in the morning because it starts at 10. I have to have everything wrapped because all the children are there. Um, Lizzie and, and um, Megan and Dane, want, well, it was Lizzie and Megan want to know um, if Moosey can read the night before Christmas at Dubby's house. So this has been a ritual when we go down to San Diego and spend a couple of days at Christmas time with them. That's what we do. Every single year from the time these little kids were toddlers, Colleen's children, Moose has read in the bed um, the night before Christmas, right even up to last year. And these kids are, are 18, 19, 20 years old. And it they still do it. So Moosey probably will have be in a room reading the night before Christmas at Dubby's house before we leave to a lot of kids, big ones and little ones. So we have to remember to take the book with us too. So we still have Wednesday and Thursday to finish up the rest of what we do, tying ribbons and writing. I have to write my new white pens on all these um, ornaments. So there we are. We're pretty well done. D-O-N-E. I think Moosey is checking the dates. Maybe we have them wrong. So we have Wednesday and Thursday to wrap up everything that we're doing here. And I think we're, we're in pretty good shape right now. I feel good about it. I want to show you this pretty sweater. So I got to calm down here. I'm wound up. So thank you so much. You've been so great with me, coming along with me on this whole thing, coming along with both of us. Moosey has been a big part of this Vlogmas, and I love him for that because I don't think I could have done all these things and done my, my Vlogmas videos without him on this. So three cheers for Moosey. I hope you're enjoying your days. Those of you who are alone and feeling lonely, I, I feel for you. If there's any way that maybe that story perks you up, um, try and, and, and find a little bit of joy in Christmas. And of course, we all know uh, what the real Christmas is all about. Think about that and you might feel a lot better and, and get some real joy from the true Christmas. Goodbye for now. I will see you tomorrow and we'll have some more fun. I love you and God bless every single one of you. Bye.